Hey y'all. Hope you're having the best day, night, weekend, whenever you see this. I hope you are doing great and the day is beautiful. We are going to get into sublimation. If you are already in sublimation, go ahead and leave me all your tips and tricks. If you have not taken the jump, I got this on Black Friday, nice great Walmart sale. $179. I don't know a lot about the models. I don't know the differences. Sound off in the comments below if you do. We've used the Canon Pixma for all of our print then cut and regular printing needs. So we'll convert this to sublimation for all of our design needs. What do you have your printers on? I have mine on an old like magazine rack and then my husband made this one out of wood to the dimensions to try and match so paper packs fit in real nice To the right of this area is my work from home area, so I'm doing everything I can to keep that out of the shot. So pretty. Tells us to unpack it and then start here. So we have to get rid of all this blue tape, protective materials, and then we have to download the app. Says we can download the app to our phone or our computer. So we're going to remove everything first. Connect the power cord, download the app, turn on the printer, launch the app, then fill the tank. I think it's pretty crucial we really follow these steps in order. Crafting is really hardcore. What do you think? I have really invested in this craft room. I mean, between the crickets, all that goes with the crickets, printer, the learning, the software, the applications, the doing it, the learning how to, whatever the next thing you want to do is. Thank you for coming along with me. It's pretty great. Okay, so we have removed all the protective materials. Now we will connect the power cord. I am currently downloading the app and it said do not launch it until you turn on the printer. So we have to plug in the printer 
turn on the printer, and then launch the app. On the back of the printer was just the one plug-in adapter. There's nothing else. You cannot plug in a USB, nothing. All right, it is plugged in. The app is done downloading. failed attempt at converting my old cartridge printer, so I already have this ink. It is from Easy Ink. It's very affordable. We have to use these lids from these Epson inks because they have a special key. wear gloves watched so many sublimation tutorials. I have watched, you know, converting our printer materials. Um, I don't remember anybody saying this takes so long just to get it going. Like filling the cartridges has taken us a half hour and we're only into two. Black made a big old mess. Magenta went the fastest so far.
So we unpacked, connected power, downloaded the app, turned on the machine, launched the app, and filled the tanks. Ink initialization is in progress. Please wait until it is complete. It says initialization takes about 11 minutes to complete. So we have the priming that's going to take, what, 11 minutes? And then we have the connecting to Wi-Fi that is taking a while as well. The printer is fine, but it says it can't find my Wi-Fi, and I'm right next to the mesh router, so that's a bummer. If you have any tips and tricks, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Sorry we didn't get to make anything. I'm so glad I didn't go live. Oh, I'd have died of embarrassment.